Good evening, everyone. I'm Dana Kozlov. Breaking right now, an arrest in the death of the 16-year-old boy shot dead in Millennium Park. A 17-year-old now charged with second-degree murder. That teen remembered tonight by relatives, friends, and his teachers with a balloon release and candlelight vigil outside his family's Roseland home. 16-year-old Shondell Holiday attended Gary Coleman High School. He was the oldest of six kids. He looked out for his brothers and his sister all the time. He just happened to go yesterday. And nobody never knew that would be his last time. Holiday was shot as mobs of kids gathered in the loop Saturday night. In response to the shooting and weekend chaos, Mayor Lori Lightfoot has announced no one under the age of 18 will be allowed in Millennium Park at night without an adult. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza is there live right now with more on the city's response. Sabrina? Hey, Dana, it is quiet in the loop tonight. Much different story than just a few hours ago. You can see the barricades here behind me. They've been here since yesterday afternoon, and as you can see, they are closed. But what you won't see and what we haven't seen are any CPD officers. Sunday night, Randolph and Michigan. Saturday night, Adams and Wabash. Send some more officers over here. We got them. Cops call for help. Whoever's when that person shot, it's a disregard over there. If you want that person shot, take it start over to Dearborn and Adams. Let's go. A 16-year-old dead, 30 arrests, 24 were minors. It was a recipe for disaster cooked in chaos. <laughs> Mayor Lori Lightfoot now says no minors in Millennium Park Thursday through Sunday after 6 p.m. Anticipating displacing this to other parts of the city will, will obviously come next. But first things first, I really do think it's important to ensure Millennial Park is rendered safe. Unless accompanied by a responsible adult, Superintendent Brown wouldn't give us specifics on how they would execute that. We just want to start with the announcement. Hopefully we'll deter some young people from coming and then we'll, we'll have a process that we'll reveal to you later on. Tonight, it's raining, less people in the park, police nowhere to be seen. This administration is completely out of idea. Alderman Brian Hopkins says there's just not enough cops to do it all. One of the deputy chiefs issued a mass arrest order. That's great. We didn't have the manpower to safely follow it. That a strategy needs to be different because the risks are different than years past. This has been a gradual escalation. You know, every weekend the people doing this feel more emboldened, more empowered, and frankly, the police still haven't found an answer. Superintendent Brown added that they did hear tips of that gathering yesterday on social media. Meanwhile, the ACLU is condemning this plan, specifically the mayor's remarks for responsible adults. That's her quote. And the idea that this plan could possibly worsen the relationship between youth of color and the police. We're live in the loop. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Sabrina, thank you.